I just checked my student loans because I needed to get the information to someone and what the <laughs> oh. 80,000. 80K. Paying for 10, 10 years. Last year, I paid 6,000 lump sum because that's really the only way to get it low. Uh, that took it down to 76,000 after I've been paying for nine years. The grand total is I have paid $120,000. 50% still owe 76. How the f is this possible? Are student loans casting a shadow over your dreams of financial freedom? It's a sentiment many can relate to. The specter of student loan debt looms large, threatening to engulf not just your financial present but your future as well. It's a burden that weighs heavily, often leading to nights spent tossing and turning, and days filled with worry and apprehension. But let's take a step back. What exactly are student loans? They are a form of financial aid, used to help students access higher education, but the reality is, they often feel more like shackles than stepping stones, locking you into a cycle of debt that seems impossible to break free from. The statistics around student loans are staggering. Millions of people are grappling with this debt, with the total amount owed often running into the tens of thousands of dollars. But the numbers only tell part of the story. Behind each statistic is a story of struggle and sacrifice, of dreams deferred and opportunities lost. And yet, amid the gloom, there's a glimmer of hope. There's a way out of the student loan labyrinth, a path to financial freedom that many have trodden before. It's not a magic bullet nor a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires grit, determination, and a willingness to take control of your financial future. Today, we're going to introduce you to a game-changing strategy to tackle your student loans head-on. It's a strategy that has the potential to turn the tide in your favor, to shift the balance of power from the loan providers to you, the borrower. It's a strategy that challenges the status quo, that dares to imagine a future where student loans are a thing of the past. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by your student loans, if they're casting a long shadow over your dreams, remember this, you're not alone. There's a community of people out there who've been in your shoes and have emerged victorious. And most importantly, there's a way forward. Fear not, for you hold the power to rewrite your financial destiny. Many believe that student loans are a lifelong burden. Is that really the truth? Let's debunk this myth. When it comes to student loans, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, but remember, they're not a life sentence. Take the case of Maria, a social worker from Ohio. Maria graduated with a whopping $50,000 in debt. She felt like she was staring at a mountain she'd never climb, but she didn't let that stop her. Maria created a budget, set a timeline, and stuck to it. She made sacrifices, sure, but she also found creative ways to increase her income. And guess what? In less than five years, Maria was debt-free. She's living proof that with determination and a solid plan, student loans can be conquered. So, let's shake off the myth. Yes, conquering your student loan debt and winning financial freedom is possible, and we'll show you how. Imagine paying off your student loans in just one year. Sounds impossible, right? But hold on a minute, let's take a detour from the traditional path of long-term repayments. Picture this, Sarah, a recent grad was knee-deep in debt. Instead of sticking to the minimum payments, she found ways to increase her income. She took up a part-time gig, sold unused items, and cut back on unnecessary expenses. She poured every extra penny into her student loans, and in just one year, she was debt-free. You see, crushing your student loans in a short time is not a fantasy. It's achievable. One word that makes every borrower cringe, interest. It's the silent enemy, incrementally inflating your debt while you sleep. But fear not. There are strategies that can help you combat this foe. Consider this. Alex, a recent grad, was bogged down by hefty interest rates. She decided to attack her high interest loans first, paying more than the minimum each month while keeping up with her other obligations. This method, often referred to as the avalanche approach, helped her shave off a significant portion of her debt. Then there's James, who opted for student loan refinancing. By doing so, he was able to secure a lower interest rate, making his monthly payments more manageable and saving him thousands in the long run. These are just two examples of how you can minimize interest and maximize loan repayment. Remember, every penny paid above the minimum goes directly towards reducing your principal balance. With the right strategy, you can minimize interest and maximize your loan repayment. What does financial liberation look like to you? Is it a life unburdened by the constraints of debt where you can pursue your dreams without the looming specter of loan repayments? Or maybe it's the freedom to make choices that aren't dictated by your financial obligations. Whatever your vision, achieving financial liberation is not an impossible task. It's a journey that begins with a single step. Let's consider the story of Maria. 
Maria was a hardworking student who graduated with a significant amount of student loans. Like many of us, she felt overwhelmed by this debt. But Maria didn't let her loans define her. She took control of her finances and embarked on the path to financial liberation. Maria started by creating a budget that accounted for her loan repayments, living expenses and savings. She then focused on increasing her income, taking on extra work and freelancing gigs. She prioritized her loans, paying more than the minimum requirement whenever she could. Maria also took advantage of loan forgiveness programs available for her field of work. Over time, Maria saw her debt shrink. Each payment she made was a step closer to her goal of financial liberation. And after several years of diligence and hard work, she finally paid off her student loans. Today, Maria lives debt-free, experiencing firsthand what financial liberation feels like. Now let's think about John. John was in a similar boat as Maria, burdened with student loans. However, John chose a different path. He sought out financial advice consolidated his loans, and managed to secure a lower interest rate. This reduced his monthly payments and freed up some of his income. John used this extra money to invest, further accelerating his journey towards financial liberation. Both Maria and John's journeys are testament to the fact that financial liberation is achievable, no matter the size of your student loans. Their stories remind us that with determination, creativity, and a well-thought-out plan, you can conquer your debt. Financial liberation is not a distant dream, but a reachable reality. It's a journey of empowerment where you take charge of your financial destiny. And remember, every journey begins with a single step. So take that step today and start your journey towards financial liberation. Ever felt like you're missing out on life because you're too busy paying off your student loans? It's a feeling that many of us know all too well, but it doesn't have to be this way. Take Sarah, for example. She was juggling between her job and loan payments, feeling trapped in a cycle of work and debt. But then she decided to change her approach. She started budgeting, allocating a part of her income to her loans while setting aside a small portion for her personal enjoyment. This allowed her to experience life, go on adventures and make memories all while steadily paying off her debt. Or consider John, who chose to live a minimalist lifestyle, cutting back on unnecessary expenses. He found joy in simplicity and was able to channel more of his income towards his loans without feeling deprived. These stories show us that it's possible to live fully while being financially responsible. Overcoming FOMO is possible even while you're on your journey to becoming debt-free. Are you ready to rewrite your financial story? Imagine a narrative where you're no longer the protagonist tangled in the vines of student loans but the triumphant hero who conquered their debt and forged their path to financial freedom. It may sound like a fairy tale, but it's a reality many have achieved and you can too. Take the case of Sarah, a college graduate who was faced with a mountain of student loan debt. She felt trapped, her dreams of buying a home and starting her own business, seemingly distant as a far-off star. But Sarah was determined to change her narrative. She started by making a detailed budget and prioritizing her student loans. She took on side gigs, cutting down on unnecessary expenses, and put every extra penny towards her debt. Within three years, Sarah was free from the shackles of her student loans, and today, she's the proud owner of a thriving online business. Or consider the story of Jake, a young man who graduated with tens of thousands of dollars in debt. The weight of his student loans seemed insurmountable, but Jake was not one to back down. He researched various loan repayment and forgiveness programs, consolidated his loans, and set up an automatic payment system to ensure he never missed a payment. Jake also started investing in a retirement fund understanding the power of compound interest. Today, Jake has not only cleared his student loans, but also built a solid financial foundation for his future. These stories are not exceptions. They are proof that with determination, strategy, and discipline, you can conquer your student loans and rewrite your financial story. It's not an easy journey, but it's certainly a rewarding one. Remember, your student loans do not define you, nor do they dictate your financial future. You hold the pen and you have the power to change your narrative. Yes, you too can rewrite your financial story and pursue your dreams. Are you ready to embark on the road to financial freedom? It's time to summarize the key points we've discussed and provide you with a 10-point plan to crush student loans and build wealth. First, let's debunk the student loan myth. Remember, having a student loan is not a life sentence. It's a financial obligation that you can conquer with the right mindset and strategy. Second, crush your student loans. Consider making bi-weekly payments instead of monthly. This simple tactic can help you pay off your debt faster and save on interest. Third, minimize interest. Aim to pay more than the minimum payment each month. Every extra dollar goes straight to the principal, 
reducing the overall interest you pay. Fourth, achieve financial liberation. Start budgeting and tracking your expenses. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going and where you can cut back. Fifth, overcome the fear of missing out. It's okay to say no to certain things now in order to say yes to financial freedom later. Sixth, rewrite your financial story. Don't let student loans define you. You're not just a debtor. You're an individual with the power to change your financial future. Seventh, break free from debt. Consider debt consolidation or refinancing if it makes sense for your situation. These strategies can lower your interest rate and simplify your payments. Eighth, find peace in financial freedom. Remember the journey to financial freedom is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Take it one step at a time. Ninth, set big financial goals. Don't just aim to pay off your student loans. Aim for financial independence, a comfortable retirement, or whatever your dream may be. And finally, 10th, take action. Knowledge is power, but only if you use it. Start implementing these strategies today, and you'll be well on your way to financial freedom. Remember, the road to financial freedom begins with a single step. Take that step today.